Hey everyone, this is Marcus again, yet another camper van review. This year I have been on the road in different camper vans from the VW to the Mercedes to the Peugeot Boxer to the Ford Transit in different styles and each having different comforts. And I just wanted to make a quick video on comparing how smooth of a drive. If your number one priority is driving experience, then we will take a look mostly at the VW T6, the Mercedes Marco Polo, the Ford Transit and Peugeot Boxer, the ones that I have tried. Now I'm talking mostly about the smaller versions of camper vans built on vans because it's just a great option to travel Europe in one of these sizes of camper vans. Now I have three kids and I've gone on some trips with just my wife and I and uh, also with our kids on the majority of the trips. So the smoothest ride has been the Mercedes Marco Polo, but I generally wouldn't recommend that one for most people because of the price tag. It really only comes in slightly above the VW T6. So driving experience wise, the VW T6 and the Mercedes Marco Polo have, are very, very similar. The reason I say I'd go with the VW over the Marco Polo is because of practicality. If I was just going to rate smooth driving experience, then I would say Mercedes, VW, and then the Ford Transit, and then the Peugeot Boxer even under that, and some other types of vehicle. I didn't try the VW Crafter or the Mercedes Sprinter, so I can't speak to any of those, but they are bigger, so I would assume that they're not as easy to drive. So even though the Mercedes Marco Polo is a better driving experience. It's only slightly better in my opinion than the VW T6. And so therefore, because of the practicality and a little bit smaller price tag, I would go with the VW T6. The Ford Transit, I really wouldn't consider just because I like driving and it's it's almost a chore driving that. Not compared to the Peugeot Boxer or anything, but it's just a little bit too truck-like for me. So uh, having three kids, I would go with the VW. I would plan for a lot of day trips, overnight trips, maybe weekend trips, but not necessarily fully camping unless the weather is great. We can set up on a campground. We have all the facilities and um, you know we can just rent a spot. We could spend the majority of the time out of the camper van, like for example, at the beach. That's where I would rate in terms of smooth drivability. I would get the Marco Polo if I'm driving all over Europe. So in conclusion, if there were four of us, my wife and I, and two kids, and I really enjoyed driving around Europe in the cities. I didn't have a maximum budget. I would probably get the Marco Polo. That's not the case in my situation. So I have three kids and I would need a little more practicality. So I would opt for the VW T6. And I probably wouldn't opt for the Ford Transit. Initially, before I even rented camper vans, I was looking at the Ford Transit as the main contender because of the size. It's a little bit wider and more versatile if you were to do your own build out. But I think I came to the conclusion that I would do more shorter trips to different locations rather than long trips. And then in good weather, you can you can take any camper van because you can put the pop top up in the VW, do your cooking while the kids are playing outside. And so those are some of the factors that we're looking at in our situation. I hope this is helpful to you because, you know, like I said, initially I was looking at the Ford Transit and now I realize that that wouldn't be the best option for us. So I hope this this brings some insight into your decision making, whether you're going to rent a camper van or buying a camper van. And if you are looking to buy a camper van and you're not from Europe, you can do so. I've started a service called CarTurf. Check them out at mycarturf.com where you can buy, register and insure a camper van or any vehicle for that matter. If you are taking a long road trip, a long trip in Europe, then that would be an ideal situation because you could buy a camper van and then use it for several months or however long you, you need, and then you could sell it at the end of your trip. So then that would help you avoid all the rental fees. If you have never used a camper van before, you know, check Road Surfer out. I've been impressed with their services and what they offer. Road Surfer does offer this thing called a rally where you pick up their vehicle from in one location and then you drop it off in another and in return you get a, a highly discounted rate and if you're interested in that i'll put it in the description below and if you want help organizing a trip like that and maybe i'll do another video on how we organize most of our rentals we've only used rallies it's turned out to be really 
fun and interesting and stressful all at the same time, but I don't regret it. So I do recommend going on a trip like this in a camper van uh, in Europe, if, especially if you've never been to Europe. It's really a great time. You will not regret a trip like this in Europe in a camper van. It might be stressful. Uh, check out our other videos on the downsides to something like that. But overall, it's, it's a great experience. I hope this video was helpful to you. And if it was, please like and subscribe. Again, check out My Car Turf. I'll put the link to that YouTube channel in the description below. And with that, safe travels in Europe or wherever you are.